I love all of my house plants. I have a, a great mix of many plants um, and I've actually had to stop buying them because we've just run out of places to put them. I do take cuttings. Um, this one, spider plant, it actually fell off of one of the other plants and uh, I've popped it in water for now. But very often I will sell the cuttings at car boot because otherwise you just end up with so many. So that's my three orchids in the kitchen. This one was in flower, it's just gone over. This one I've had a long time actually. My mum gave it to me about mm, nine years ago as a part of a Christmas gift. So that one's done really well. I have a spider plant up there on the kitchen cupboard. And then I've also got one up here on top of the fridge. So I'm just seeing at the moment that those are okay in those places because we've just done the kitchen. I had all my spider plants upstairs and I wanted to bring some down. So I'm hoping that those places are okay because we took the wall out, it's much lighter in here now. So I'm hoping that they will, uh, they will be okay. I've forgotten the name of this one. <laughs> this one is Derek's. And um, that's lost a few leaves over the winter, but it's starting to come back again now. That spring is here. I have a spider plant on my pine dresser. The piece that you just saw on the windowsill, that fell off of this one. So again, I'm just trying uh, the spider plant in this place. Now it's lighter in here. It seems to be okay at the moment. They've been down here, oh gosh, a good month now. It seems to be doing okay. And then we have this big one here. I've forgotten the name of this one. Again, this one is Derek's. That one's doing quite well. I've moved since we've done the kitchen because this was in the the window of the lounge but I've moved it there because it was just there was nothing in that corner so again I'm just trying it it seems to be okay at the moment I also have um, two cactuses that mean a lot to me they were given to me by a lady that I cleaned for for 21 years and she had a massive sunroom of plants that I used to help her with and yeah, she gave me a couple of plants. So these are, are very old actually, because she's been gone a while now. And so they mean a lot to me and they still continue to flower. So that's one of them. And then she gave me this one as well. I think this is a peach one. It hasn't, no, it hasn't flowered actually recently. Um, it's grown much bigger since I've had it. Um, but off of this one, um, a piece fell off and I just potted it up and lo and behold, it's just gone mad. I've never grown one of these before, so I was really pleased that it's come off of her plant and that I can carry on. So, um, and this one did, did flower, it had a few buds on it, so yeah, so I was quite chuffed with that because I have to say I've not grown one of these before. And then we have this one. This one is Derek's. This is an Easter one. As you can see, it's just almost finished flowering. So that's a nice one. And then this is one of his as well. This one doesn't appear to be doing so well, actually. We're going to have to repot that, I think. And then somebody gave me this one. I, I can't remember what it's called. It had like a red stem in the middle. It was quite small. I repotted it and it's it's growing on. I can't remember what that one is. And then for years I've absolutely loved 
jade plants or money plants. This one is massive, but I actually bought this before I had my son, and my son is 20 this year, so it shows how old it is. I've taken many, many cuttings off of it, so it is looking a little bit tatty, but I think for the age that it is, I think it's entitled to look a little bit tatty. But um, yeah, so it's a great, great, great grandmother, that one. So yeah, that's uh, been with me many years. And then we've got a peace lily here. This one's Terex. So that's uh, obviously in flower again. And then I have four amaryllis. This has just reflowered, as you can see. I think this is the third time, oh no, the second time that this has reflowered. So it's just about to burst, burst out of its bud again. Um, this one I've reflowered four times. My son bought me this. Um, gorgeous. Hasn't reflowered this year. It's probably taking a break. <laughs> And then there's just two there. Those two haven't reflowered, but I still keep them because it's lovely to have the greenery. So yes, I was quite chuffed with this one reflowering again. So that's all my plants downstairs. So I have two in the hallway upstairs. This is one of the cuttings off of the big jade plant. And then I'm not sure which one, I'm not sure what this is. This is one of Derek's. So they're just in the hallway. And then in my son's bathroom, we've got another jade plant and another spider plant. And then in the office, I have two more jade plants. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> So again, they're cuttings off of that big one. So this one, the bigger one, I've had quite a long while in there. And then this was a cutting, I think, from a couple of years ago. And then in our spare bedroom, I have these two. I've had these for, I think, about five years and they're gorgeous, they always flower. And then another spider plant. That one's quite big. And then I also have three jade plants in here. They're actually on the floor because it gets so hot in here that it's, um, it's making them sort of go over. And the thing is all of my plants need to have some fresh compost and feed so I've put them down there so that they don't fall over and get broken just for the time being I also have some house plants outside this one was put out there because it has a bug on it and I've tried and tried to get rid of it but I can't so I leave it out there because otherwise it transfers to the other plants. Um, but it seems to be quite happy out there, so I've just left it. So it's doing okay. And then I also have a calancho out there. As you can see, it got a bit leggy and it kind of went over, so I thought it was actually going to die. Um, but I put it out there and it's come back again. So although it's leggy, it's actually about to burst into flower. So excuse me not opening the door, but the pond pump tends to drown me out <laughs> if I'm talking out there. So I've just done it through the door. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. We've had an amazing week with the weather. There's bulbs and things coming through. So spring is definitely here. I don't know how long this weather is going to, to stay this way. Probably not very long. I think it's going to get a bit cooler again. But um, I think spring is definitely here. So I hope you like this little tour of all my house plants. Excuse me if I sound a bit funny. I've had an absolutely stinking cold. 
Thank you for watching. I do appreciate you visiting my little channel. Bye for now.